I'm really glad I finally get to talk about this because command styles are like really cool. So let's get started. What's up guys? It's me, Norlo Bomber. Welcome back to Kinwarts Explain. And obviously we're going to be talking about command styles. So command styles was a gameplay mechanic that was introduced in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep that featured similar features to drive forms from Kingdom Hearts 2. They are both very similar as they both increase a person's power or capabilities by enhancing one or more aspects to the battle arsenal. However, command styles have enough key differences to differentiate themselves from both Kingdom Hearts 2's dry forms and Kingdom Hearts 3's form change, which I will talk about in the future. So command styles so far have only ever been used by Terra, Ventus, Aqua, and Riku. Even between these four, the way in which these characters apply the styles is vastly different from each other, especially in regard to Riku versus the Wayfinder Trio. So first I will be talking about the Wayfinder Trio. So these forms first became available after Terra, Ven, and Aqua defeated the Orbs of Light during Terra and Aqua's Mark of Mastery exam. After doing so, they get access to command styles and their initial styles reflect the kind of fighter that each of them is. In order to enter these styles, Terra, Ven, and Aqua need to fight. There are 15 total command styles in Birth by Sleep, Critical Impact, which doubles the user's strength, Fever Pitch, which more than doubles the user's speed, Spell Weaver, which gives access to magic combos, Firestorm, Diamond Dust, and Thunderstorm, which extend the user's attacks with either fire, ice, or electricity, respectively, Rock Breaker, which manipulates the earth around the user, Dark Impulse, which gives its user access to various dark themed attacks, Cyclone, which increases the user's speed and traps enemies on a gust of wind, Sky Climber, which gives its user levitation properties and is a monster in the air, Ghost Drive, which uses magic to teleport and leave after images. Wing Blade, which incorporates six blades of light. Blade Charge, which doubles to triples the Keyblade's length, range, and strength. Frozen Fortune, which attacks enemies with ice cream. Okay. And Rhythm Mixer, which incorporates beats. Okay. And this is one of the key differences between command styles and drive forms. See, while Sora could tap into drive forms whenever he wanted to so long as he had enough drive power to do so, Terravan and Aqua need to fight in a specific way to achieve their styles. For example, if Ventus wanted to enter his signature Fever Pitch command style, he would need to fight while mainly relying on moves like Quick Blitz or Strike Raid. When a command style has been achieved, the user will be surrounded by a ring of light, and right after, their body will burst with energy related to the command style. After that, the user will be surrounded in an aura of the related element. Like when someone enters a Firestorm, their upper body is surrounded in flames, or when someone enters Diamond Dust, their aura emits ice things. Yeah. When a user is using a command style, their strength, magic, combos, and even other things may be altered. Like when Terra enters Critical Impact, he deals more damage than usual, and when Ventus enters Fever Pitch, his attack speed increases greatly, and when Aqua enters Spell Weaver, she increases her magic strength and implements more magic attacks into her basic combo. Sometimes a user can enter another command style while still in a current one. This is a second level of command styles and it's typically the strongest a character can be while using said command styles. I don't know if it is possible to take it up to a third level, but so far neither Terra, Ven, Aqua, nor Riku have discovered this. Now to get to the second level of command styles, it's essentially the same as the first level keep fighting relying on specific properties or moves. However, the second level of command styles has more drastic differences than the first level. What I mean is that the first level of command styles only surround the user in an aura and that will further enhance the element or aspect like with Firestorm. The only changes seen with Terravan and Aqua is with a fire aura. However, in the second level, there is typically a new aspect added to their arsenal or their overall fighting properties. I'll give an example for all three. First, with Terra, a good example for him is Dark Impulse. Terra is able to turn himself into a shadow on the ground and is able to call forth a big darkness hand to deal additional damage. For Ven, his Wing Blade style is a good example. Funny enough, this is the only Keyblade style that invokes some kind of Keyblade transformation. Ven turns his one Keyblade into six Keyblades, and then he can control all of them telepathically. 
And for Aqua, a good example would be Ghost Drive, as she is able to regularly implement teleportation in her attacks in that style. A command style can even give someone an extra ability, like how Sky Climber gives Ven and Aqua the ability to levitate off the ground. When the user fights long enough in that style, they gain access to a finisher, which involves the user throwing all of the energy from the command style into an ultimate attack. The ultimate attack varies, but greatly complements the combat style of the command style. Command styles can also technically go on forever. Command styles can only ever be turned off when someone doesn't fight long enough. Once a user activates a command style, they will stay in that form unless they run out from not fighting or they use the finisher. However, if the user doesn't fight long enough, like I said, the form would run out pretty quickly. Aqua in Kingdom Hearts 3 had actually figured out how to immediately use her command style's finisher once activating the form. Now, unlike dry forms, command styles can't help someone learn extra abilities permanently. Command styles can be activated by items, however. If the user consumes something with a similar property to the command style, they will enter that form. This is a good method to getting into a second tier command style without being in a first tier command style. Now, these aren't the only ways to enter a command style. Riku has figured out a way to bypass this battle prerequisite to enter command styles. Like I said in my Dream Eater video, when Riku links up with his Dream Eaters, he absorbs them and enters a command style like form. By doing this, Riku doesn't need to fight in order to enter command style, but this does mean that Riku cannot use command styles on his own as he requires his Dream Eaters powers, which so far he has only ever been able to use that while in the sleeping worlds. The type of command style Riku goes into is dependent on which Dream Eater he is absorbing and how many he is absorbing. If Riku absorbs one, he will go into one of five styles. Shining Hammer, which incorporates massive shock waves of light. Fire Raid, which is just like Fire Storm. Wave Surfer, which incorporates water magic. Thunderstorm, which is just like Terra Ven and Aquas. And Darkest Fears, which incorporates swift darkness coverage strikes. If Riku absorbs two Dream Eaters, he will enter one of three forms. Blade Charge, just like Terra and Aqua, his Keyblade will double to triple its length and will deal additional damage. Rising Wing, which gives Riku a pair of wings and the ability to fly. And Ghost Drive, which is just like Aqua's. Riku doesn't have access to finishers in this form of command styles, however, since they are incorporating someone else's power. Now, there is another Dual Link command style thing that Riku does enter. But that was specifically in his fight against Sora as the Armored Ventus Nightmare. He absorbs his Dream Eater's powers to use their light to clash with the Nightmare, allowing Sora to be set free. However, I think this was a one-time kind of thing. Uh, well guys, that's gonna do it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, again, I really like Command Styles. They're freaking awesome. I believe the next episode will be discussing Flow Motion. So look forward to that video. Uh, with that being said, uh, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Twitter and my Twitch. Check out my Discord in the description below. This has been Noir Lil Bomber, and I'm out.